welcome um aquarians i want to say happy new year thank you for being here thank you for being back oh please remember in order to receive these extended readings you have to be a member of the channel i want to say to each and every one thank you for um the support in um all the years and this is a new year we're beginning thank you for being here this month of January is a water energy. It is the energy of the hermit. The energy of the hermit is always shedding light on issues and situation. It is emotion, but it can be positive or negative emotion. So, um, Aquarius, let's see what is transpiring. And remember that this is your year. It is the year of the fool. So try and make the best in the best possible way. Try and be positive and bring positive alignment of energies in your life. Remember, um, we are live on Fridays if you'd like to join us. Um, in order to join us, you have to become a member of the channel. So, um, yeah, YouTube has changed up. So um, that's what happened. Okay. So in the month of January, we have five weeks in the month of January. The Wheel of Fortune is here in the first week for you guys. So whatever is transpiring, I see you're coming in this year on a positive alignment of energy because it is your air Aquarians. Okay. So you have a real positive fire energy. Then you have the energy of the world that is here in the second week. Wonderful alignment of energy. The energy of the world is an hurt energy. So we have the wheel of fortune and the energy of the world. See our year. You can see this third week is going to be your week. So all three weeks, the wheel of fortune, um, for week, the energy of the Kaiserin. This is wonderful. Another hurt energy that is bringing balance to you, Aquarians. And the fifth week, you have a new start. So this is wonderful, Aquarians. Whatever that was happening and transpiring, you can see the beautiful of alignment of energy that you are going to be starting the um, month of January 2020 with. So as I said, um, go check out your January reading. Go get the extended to know what is going to be affecting you in which month. But as you see, go back and listen to the January the year reading and um, to see what was coming up in January for you, Aquarians, because this is uh, beautiful. This is wonderful. Okay, so a message came out. So I see here um for you aquarians the energy of networking the energy of connecting with other people the energy of bringing something to light which is going to be very beautiful and i see this coming up in the third week going in the fourth week so if you were looking for a job in the third week going in the fourth week definitely this job could be coming up but it is also in the first week going in the second week so this is a positive alignment of energy so whoever was looking for a new job um, first week going in the second week is going to be good. Um, Aquarians, this whole month is going to be fabulous. Okay. So as we look at the second week going in the third week, I see you're victoriously overcoming a situation an issue that was plaguing. You're definitely overcoming a situation. So some good news is going to be coming in for you Aquarian in the second week going in the third week. As we look at the third week going into fourth week, you have the energy of the two of pentacles. This is where you're going to be making a decision about something. Are you going to be moving? Are you going to be buying a new car? Are you going to be changing a new car? Are you going to be, you, you have to make a decision that has to do with your financial stability. So it's always work or it's always, you know, or am I going to take a job closer by to me? Um, which one of these jobs I'm going to take? So it's going to be something like that. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Um, this is definitely a Capricorn man. This man is 45 years and older. So this man could be coming in because this is definitely a Capricorn man. You could be having a new start with this Capricorn man. Whoever this person is and this situation is, I'm seeing you could be having a new start with a Capricorn person. So is it your father? Is it your partner? We're going to be looking forward to see who this person is. Now, in the second week, I see you have some worries. Um, definitely. And the second week, you have some worries. Whatever this worries is all about, I see you're worried about something. And there's no reason to worry because I see whatever this um, 
this transition is in your life I see it is moving you on a positive uh, direction the eight of swords is in reverse so I see you're seeing that uh, yes it is the right decision you have made okay so definitely in the third um, week um, you're gonna be realizing that you made a right decision okay so um however that is affecting you it is a decision because the the a cycle ended in your life and you decide to move forward in a better direction and this is going to be happening for you definitely you're seeing the truth of a situation some of you are going to be learning to balance out the situation and i'm seeing peace coming in after um some deceptiveness that has played so i see some of you um peace coming in with um a taurus virgo or capricorn man 45 years and older i see you're going to be going on a new journey with this person i see peace coming in after some disruption that has transpired now what is happening is that i see um some happiness and joy as you leave the second week going in the third week happiness and joy as i have said all the weeks are good for you aquarians is the best best reading so far it's my first so um the nine of cups you're going to be overcoming a situation whatever the situation is you're definitely overcoming the situation you are going to be receiving the news in the second week going in the third week you young people between the age of 18 and 45 I'm seeing in the um, third week going into the fourth week you need to make a decision so people especially the young men between the age of 18 and 45 in the third week going in the fourth week you need to make some decision whatever the decision is is that you're seeing the truth of some deceptiveness that has played and you need to make a decision okay so be aware of that so there is a lot of worries but there's a lot of seeing the truth over issues and situation that has been transpired some of you who were dealing with um a pisces is cancer or a scorpion between the ages of 18 and 45 especially if you're between the ages of 18 and 45 you're going to be seeing the truth about this person and i see you're going to be letting this person go okay you're going to be letting this person go so some of you could have been dealing with a young Pisces between the ages of 18 and 45 and I see you're finding out the truth about this person because this person is in the reverse which is saying that whatever they were do doing and keeping as a secret this secret is now coming out so this is why I say to a lot of people cross watch is very important because as as we cross watch we know the people or a partners and that sort of a thing what is coming up because obviously um what is coming out is that whoever this person is is a pisces cancer or a scorpion um i see you young men especially is going to be finding out the truth because it's as if you're going to be finding out that they were influencing a situation whatever that was to transpire is going to come out but I see you are going to make a decision to leave this person behind. Okay, so I see you're definitely going to be making a decision to leave this person behind. Whoever this person is and however they have affected your life, I see you're going to make a decision to leave this person behind. So you young people between the age of 18 and 45, as it comes to the third week, going into fourth week, I see some of you finding out some situation that has played with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion between the ages of 18 and 45 and you're going to be making decision however way it's coming up to release yourself of this person and the situation okay so let's see what is coming in so I see some of you um were having issues um to uh, connect with other people or on the work floor i see this is going to be over in the first week going in the second week this is definitely going to be over this is a situation of networking that you are fighting no longer it's just going to be happening for you okay so it's you know if you were fighting to get your business out or you were having issues with people on the work floor it is going to be over as you go back to work first week going in the second week then i see some of you were dealing with an issue in a situation with an organization institution i see lies and deceptiveness 
and I see some of you are going to be coming out of this okay so there was an institute organization so for some of you it's gonna be the work floor but for some of you it could be another institute organization where there was some lies and deceptiveness and I see this is all coming out in the third week going in the four uh, in the second week going in the third week so you have dualities that is playing up and coming up for you Aquarians because in the third week going in the fourth week there is a situation that you have to make a decision about and it could be too um, if you're looking for a job you're going to be receiving an offer and you have to make a decision where and which one you are about to um, take so it can also be for the younger people that there is uh, issues with family that is coming up that you have to make a decision about there's issues with family that is coming up that you have to make a decision about now as we look at the third the fourth week going into fifth week I see um, information could be coming in from a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person 45 years and older it could also be a business person so let's say that you went to apply for a job and the manager is going to call you you have to make a decision okay so some of you this could be your partner or um, a boss or a businessman who has done some injustice and I see judgment call is coming down so this person could have deceived you or something or use your information however that is coming up I see that some of you are going to be giving up this person whoever this person is I see you giving up this person so this is going to be happening in the fourth week going in the third week for some of you could be happening in the beginning of the week now as we look at networking and that sort of a situation I see you're going to be overcoming a situation that some of you were dealing with a, a scorpion some of you were dealing with a scorpion and I see you're going to be taking down a scorpion and just diffusing a situation that was transpiring in your life so it could be a scorpion but it could be that there was some deceptiveness on the work floor in your life in your friendship and that sort of a thing and I see you're going to be diffusing this situation definitely some of you are dealing with a Pisces, uh, um, a scorpion um definitely some of you are dealing with a scorpion and i see you diffusing a situation and you're going to be overcoming the scorpion so you could be dealing with a scorpion on the work floor um you could be separating from a scorpion and the scorpion is creating issues or was creating issues i see you diffusing and diffusing the situations i see the two you have dualities some of you have to make a decision um and it is all upright so it's not in the reverse so i see some of you juggling to make a decision about something or juggling multiple things okay i see a lot of information is coming in whatever that was transpiring or happening i see some of you um a lot of information is going to be coming in if you were looking for a job i see a lot of multiple opportunities doors is going to be opening people want to work with you people wants to connect with you so all of this is transpiring um i'm seeing some of you are going to be offered um um uh opportunities that you would have never what is ever is happening for you libran uh for you aquarians and uh, you're dealing with a libran you're dealing with a, a lawsuit you're not going to be winning okay you're not going to be winning i see whatever is transpiring i see you're not going to be winning this lawsuit you um you Aquarians this lawsuit is not going to be win by you guys okay so I see you guys moving out and moving away I see if you were dealing with a businessman or a deceptive businessman or because I it could be a partner that was a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn I see you overcoming some issues now some of you who were dealing with a Libran I see information is coming to you um and some of you were dealing with a um some of you were dealing with a pisces with 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 a um uh, a young pisces um or a young pisces cancer or scorpion i see you're overcoming this situation okay they could be overcoming and winning a lawsuit over um you aquarians okay so you gotta be aware of whatever is transpiring I see the energy of uh, the star in the reverse when it comes up to you 
and a Pisces cancer but this person is actually coming up as a as a Pisces okay so you young people between the age of 18 and 45 if you're dealing with a Pisces I see and reverse of energy where the energy of the star is here and it's upright and it's especially in the third week whatever is transpiring between you and a pisces in the third week people between the ages of 18 and 45 you gotta be aware of what is transpiring because i see that um the overcoming of a situation um, you could be overcoming this situation if it's a legal situation or an unjust situation you're going to be standing above this 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 cancer this scorpion or the Pisces young lady you are going to win over this person because of uh, whatever this person has done you're going to be winning over this person so basically basically um this is going to be good okay so um wow it, it is really what a lot of you are dealing with the water sign people whatever is happening and transpiring a lot of you are dealing with water sign people so i see really you're going to be successfully overcoming situation because some of you were dealing with the influence of some water sign energy that was influencing a situation and it's as if the universe comes in and said no so i see you're overcoming a situation where someone tried to throw you guys under the bus and you decide to stand up for your own self okay you decide to basically stand up for yourself and i see you're trying to resolve issues in situation so i see whatever um you were going through in 2019 coming in i see whatever you have some regrets dealing with a young Pisces or a young Cancer or a young Scorpion whatever that was happening and transpire I see you're going to be coming out of this situation number two is the energy vibration for you guys whatever is transpiring two and eight is the energy vibration for you guys use two and eight to make decision in your life some of you have some regrets dealing with um, a situation that has to do with a cancer or a scorpion but I see you overcoming the situation and I see a lot of news is going to be coming to you um, it could be from your father that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn however this is plain I see some of you are going to be overcoming a situation to do with a cancer whoever this cancer is and whatever this person has done definitely you're overcoming a situation to deal with a cancer okay so this is um, going to be um, very positive and this is why I say to a lot of people go check out the um, energy vibration reading um, to see what is definitely coming up the extended because the extended always um, give more information as to what is coming up all right so let's fill in the gaps and see what exactly is transpiring here so we see that some of you come to a crossroad where I say there, there could be decision that need to be made. A lot of you are going to be coming to a crossroad, especially when it comes up in the second week. A lot of you is going to be coming to a crossroad where you have to make decisions about certain situations and certain issues that you're dealing with. Okay. Then we see a block in an organization that is blocking someone. This person is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. So whoever this person is, this person tried to influence a situation around you. And I see a block is coming up to a person. I see a lot of com com communication and that is what I was saying. Communication is here, speed of communication, a lot of communication with you and a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. A lot of communication is going to be coming up. A lot of information is going to be coming out as you go to the third week, going into fourth week. A lot of communication a lot of information is going to be coming out I see emotional issues and situation is going to be transpiring and it has to do with Gemini it has to do with a defense this deceptive situation that was happening and you're emotionally um, coming out of this situation I see you're going to be overcoming a situation you were dealing with uh, um, a young Pisces cancer or scorpion um young lady between the ages of 18 and 45 whatever that was i see 
you are going to be overcoming this situation and this is going to be God I see a lot of jealousy is taking place so you got to be aware of this a lot of jealousy is taking place I see a lot of you are trying to clear yourself out out of deceptiveness and jealousy that is happening and transpiring so this is a message and it has to do with a young cancer scorpion a young cancer or a scorpion whatever but I see you overcoming the situation and whoever this person is whatever this person was trying to do is as if the universe stepped in and said no okay so whoever this this person is it, it was a very deceptive person um if you are dealing with this could be someone on the work floor this could be just someone that is working in an institute organization a very nasty deceptive person i see whatever this person was trying to do it didn't work out and i see the truth is going to be coming out about this person I see some of you really taking down this person for whoever they are and showing up them up as the lie and deceptive person that they are. Okay, so you're overcoming. So let's see what other message is coming out for you, Aquarians. Violet, spiritual wisdom and you and and you. This is beautiful because some of you are going to be dealing with spirituality. It is the violet. The violet is always the third eyes. And this is going to be wonderful for you guys. Whatever the issue and the situation is, choose one of these. Work on one of these because the one of these is going to be affecting you, Aquarian. So this is going to be beautiful. Okay. Very, very, very beautiful what is transpiring for you, Aquarian. So this is a wonderful alignment of energies then i'm working with sylvia i love sylvia she was also a psychic and she says many time kind kind word express when someone is in a rage will help neutralize a negative situation so if you notice like sometimes you're in a rage and then someone just calmly said something or um, maybe someone else is in a rage and then there is just can't that you say something I think this is going to diffuse whatever negative energies that is going to be coming in at you guys in this month of January I want to say to you guys you know always count to 10 sometimes it's hard but we you know we need to learn to balance out this sort of a situation in our lives understand where we are our journeys i love you guys please share these videos and i want to say to you guys namaste until next time life is about um, um learning who we are as a spiritual beings and please like and share these videos in order to see the extended you have to use the link below and join the channel namaste until next time